But first, aspartame is the technical name for artificial sweeteners like NutraSweet and Equal. It's used in foods as a sugar substitute, and it just might be the most dangerous additive we willingly put into our bodies. Notice the word willingly. Here with the lowdown on why we should rid our diet of aspartame is Dr. Joseph Mercola. Dr. Mercola, thank you so much for being here with us. So, aspartame, what exactly is it? Well, it's an artificial sweetener that's commonly used by most to lose weight because it's typically in diet products. But the challenge here is that it doesn't cause you to lose weight. In fact, most of the studies that look at this topic show that it actually causes you to gain weight. So that's the primary challenge. But in addition to that, it's loaded with side effects. And in fact, there's, there are more reported complaints to the FDA than all other food additives combined. And even the FAA has, uh, or most airlines, require or strongly discourage pilots from using it because of the risk of seizures and loss of before consciousness. Before they fly. Before they fly, yes. All right, so my first question was, what is it? So what is it? What is it made of? Where does it come from? Well, aspartame specifically is a uh, derivative of uh, it's a chemical product. It's synthetic. It's so it's not a complete natural. synthetic. It's, it's completely, completely synth chemical. It's not found in yes. nature. It's something we make. And Th that's the definition of artificial sweeteners. They're synthetic. And it's also a neurotoxin, is it not? It can be. Yes. It's a breakdown products turn into a neurotoxin. Formaldehyde specifically, which is the fluid. Oh that my God! Formaldehyde. Wait, wait. Formaldehyde is what we embalm bodies with. Yes. yes. So when when we say it's a neurotoxin, that means it stimulates in a bad way the brain because neurotoxin it's a tox right. toxic it can to cause, the brain it can cause things like seizures right. which is why it's the that was my next question yeah. give us some symptoms of symptoms what autoimmune disorders like ms and it can also contribute to migraines and in fact anyone who has a migraine that's watching this they really need to get off of any drinks that contain aspartame because it's a it's a really common problem in fact my sister who was my office manager for 20 years her, she had her first migraine we didn't know what it was but she had these symptoms that simulate a stroke and then we, we tied it back to the, to the aspartame. And anytime she has a, any product Episode that has it, even yeah. though it's not listed, it invariably contact the manufacturer and there's some aspartame in there. It's a common uh, migraine trigger. It's unbelievable because it's, it's so prevalent in our society. In fact, uh, a cl person yesterday close to me said, I'm going to have that double whatever latte thing that he gets at Starbucks with aspartame in it. And I went, sure. that's aspartame. Yes. You know, Splenda, I think he wanted, or Equal, yeah. or one of the two. Aspartame is about the worst of all of them. But, but cl and the reason they're doing it is to have flavor, but also to lose weight. And, the, and the, the real challenge is it doesn't help them lose weight. But why don't people care? He didn't care. He was like, oh, OK, whatever. And I'm like, you really should care. This is really detrimental to your health. Because they've been hoodwinked and manipulated by the media, uh, t telling them that there's no problems or, or, or challenges with it. And well, they really hidden and covered that up. All right, so I, I got you a little gift here. Well, thank okay. you. Okay, this is a sugar caddy. You see this on the table when you eat at a restaurant. And it's got three different kinds of things. Now, I'm not a person who eats aspartame. In fact, I remember cutting diet soda out of my diet because I found when I'd cut it out, I actually lost five pounds immediately. Mm -hmm. And I realized there was something in diet soda that was actually causing me to bloat up or gain weight. So diet may not be so diet. But um, here is Equal. Mm -hmm. Right, which is another, that's the... the, the aspartame, yes. Well, it says, sucre, it says Equal, but there's sucralose under it. Equal typically is aspartame, but they maybe have a combination product here. Okay. Maybe, or were they renamed Equal to sucralose? Maybe they changed it. The last time I looked at Equal, it was aspartame, but this clearly says sucralose. Okay. Um, which is Splenda. Which is Splenda. Another, yeah. Okay, and what is this? This is another equal. It's a blue one. Gosh, so e this is equal classic. I never <laughs> realized because I never look at that, so I have no idea what we're doing. See, was going I never on. look at it either. That's why I'm but asking equal, you because it's confusing. Equal classic is, uh, of course, aspartame. But the new equal, the yellow one, is Splenda. So I guess that's the way that you find out. The color, typically the yellow is Splenda or sucralose, and the blue is aspartame. Now, is or, Splenda better or worse or the same? Actually, or? I wrote a whole book on uh, Splenda, which is the, called Sweet Deception. And it is probably not as bad as aspartame, but really there are so much better is alternatives. It it's, it's wise not to use any of these. Is it also synthetic? Yes, absolutely. It's, 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 it's a derivative of sugar and it's got chlorines on it. Oh. In many ways, it's not much different than DDT. It's a similar, okay. in a similar family. This one here? 
This one is a cyclamate, I think, uh, a saccharin. I think this yeah. is saccharin, yes. Sweet and low is saccharin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give us some, some alternatives that we could reach for instead of this on the table. They're actually, in the restaurant, if, you're going, if you really need a sweetener, your really best alternative is sugar. I sugar, didn't realize honey, sh sugar and honey. Yeah, those, okay. those both Something be better. Okay, something diabetics. You yucca, did you talk oh, about? Oh, absolutely. Or? Well, there are uh, some natural sweeteners that have been around for centuries, like stevia. Okay. And it comes as a powder or a liquid, and that's truvia in whole in whole foods. Tr truvia is an extract and probably not as safe as the is the whole process. You anytime are you process, me so much. Here. Anytime you <laughs> process the plant, you're going to run into problems. But there's another one that many people not have not heard of. It's just called monk fruit, and okay. it's typically from uh, Madagascar in Africa, and it's and it's also a natural sweetener, been around a long time, and has really no side effects. It's very sweet and can help them. And you can also use carbonation or put a, a, a low sugar fruit like lemons or limes to, to sweeten it up for you and to give you that taste. Well, there's great alternatives. Uh, I'm so happy you came on to talk about this. I think it's a hot topic. Thank you, Dr. Mercola, for being here with us. All right. Us. Well, thank you for having me, Carol. Get your workout clothes.